l'école, je me conduis de bien. Pour si on tire ce drôle, dont je m'en souviens. I could have a bottle of champagne first and order dinner later. Oui, monsieur. Et à propos de n'importe quoi, je répondais, mais oui, ma talo ou amiral. Mais oui, c'est le bon, ça m'est égal. J'adore employer l'affirmatif, j'ai le cours si positif, je n'ai jamais dit jamais. C'est chouette, au très agréable, oui, je suis trop aimable, oui, je n'ai jamais dit jamais. The dances I attended were always such a bore, I never was offended while dancing on the floor. I couldn't understand it, I came out with the eyes, I even Getting kissed, being unwise Say I'm a different kind of girl I'm now in a different kind of world I go where I shouldn't and I do what I couldn't and I would If I wouldn't really know The way I've been choosing, missing fun by refusing And the time I've been losing, saying no à l'école, je me conduis à bien. Voici une chance drôle dont je m'en souviens. En n'importe quelle question, le maître me posait. Et à propos de n'importe quoi, je répondais Mais oui, ma salaud amiral. Mais oui, si les dames se m'adégalent. J'adore employer l'affirmatif. J'ai le cours si positif. Je n'ai jamais dit jamais. C'est chouette, et trop agréable, oui, je suis trop aimable, oui, je n'ai jamais dit jamais. And I'm all the pretty things I see, I get what I think is good for me. It's to be clever going places, wherever showing off what you never had to show. I learned just by getting me the romantic setting, there's a feeling for getting saying no. exciting evening of my life. I've never been in a place like this before. Shocking, isn't it? I like it. Oliver, how would you describe the actress? What would you call her? A splendid strumpet. Oh, no. That sounds much too English for Mademoiselle Juliette Latour. Well, Mademoiselle Juliette Latour sounds too good to be true. Her real name is probably Annie Jones or Elsie Schulzenberger. Oh. No wonder she changed it. Actresses take names as fancy as their costumes and change them just about as often. Oh, there's Turner at the docks. I want to see him. Would you excuse me for a moment? Of course, dear. Mademoiselle, tonight I have for you a supreme dish, étuvé de viande. Sounds fine, but what is it? It is chicken stewed with ham, with slices of beef, and a little garden vegetable. Oh, a mixed stew, that's good. And a pitcher of milk, you said. Oui, oh, and some cream gravy on the rice. Oh, naturellement. <laughs> How dull for, sitting alone. Good evening. Uh, won't you invite us to join you? Uh, too much reading will put a squint in your eyes. And your eyes are much too beautiful to take a chance. I wouldn't, boys. Honestly, I wouldn't. I hate to tell you this, but her husband is a Mississippi gambler. And he carries a gun on each hip. Of course, if you want to fight a duel, but he's a dead shot. Uh, pardon us. We have an engagement. How can I ever thank you, Miss... Oh, what shall I call you? Not Latour. Why not Latour? Well, my husband said it was probably a stage name. You're the first actress I've ever met. I hope I'm not being rude. No. Uh, Juliet Latour is a, a fancy tag. My real name is... Uh, Florinda. 
Yes, Florinda. My name is Garnet. Garnet Hale. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Hale. Thank you. My husband isn't really a gambler, you know. He's a trader. We're on our way to California. What a honeymoon. How did you know? Just guessing. It wasn't hard looking at you. Is New Orleans your home? No, New York. My husband was just visiting there, buying merchandise for California. Aren't you excited? Such a long journey. Riverboat to St. Louis and a wagon train to... My husband says we'll go by mule bag after we leave Santa Fe. <laughs> Sorry to have been so late, dear, but I had to straighten out the whole shipment to Council Grove. May I present my husband, Miss Florinda... Uh, Grove. Miss Florinda Grove. Miss Grove has been of great service to me, Oliver. Two of the local boys were trying to prove that New Orleans is not a good place for a husband to leave an attractive wife alone. Excuse me. Good afternoon, Mrs. Hale. How are you, Mr. Murray? My man said he saw a brunette in a green dress right here in this hotel. And I'm going to nab her. But discreetly, please, discreetly. Mm. Come with me. Get you some smelling salt. No, no, no. I'm not the fainting kind, Mrs. Hale. My name is Garnet. Why don't you call me that, Florinda? What did you call me? Florinda. Didn't you say your name was Florinda Grove? So I did. I don't want to cause you any trouble, Mrs. Hale. I mean, Garnet. You stay right here until we're sure that man is gone. But he won't go until he gets me. He thinks I did something awful. But if you believe me, if you can help me, but I can talk about it. I'll tell you what happened. You see, I had to... Who is it? Who did you expect? Well, what's all this about? Oh, I'm trying to get away from somebody. Trying to get away from somebody? Who? Detective. He wants to take me back to New York in handcuffs. Quick, let's go in the bedroom. Your pardon, Mr. Hale. Never mind that. You have a female in here I want. Not so fast. Why do you want her? Police business. Oh, I see. What is it, dear? This man is a police officer. He says you're wanted. How dare you, sir? Lady, I want the dark-haired girl. You want the dark-haired girl? Where do you think you are, mister? I tried to explain to you that Mr. and Mrs. Hale are the sole occupants of is this... Is it customary to have persons like this intruding on the privacy of the guests in your hotel? Oh, please, Mrs. Hale, I beg your indulgence. It's not excusable, sir. So is murder, lady. Murder? The woman I want killed a man in New York. My wife's from New York. Did you kill anybody you didn't tell me about, dear? I do not think that is very humorous. Nor do I think you have any business here. Nor that you run a respectable hotel. Watch her. She's dangerous when in a temper. Stop teasing me and get these men out of here. Well, he may think that you have a body hidden in the bedroom. Would you like to look around? Well, I guess there's no need to do that. If it upsets the young lady so much... My man said he saw a brunette in a green dress. Probably just daydreaming. Ma'am? I'd like to apologize to you, Mr. Hale, and to you, Mrs. Hale. Good but afternoon. I'm certain, and yes. you may save your apologies. But I just wanted to explain Good my position. Good afternoon. You see, uh, he came up to me. <sighs> Did you kill a man, Miss Grove? Oh. Of course she didn't. You're as bad as that horrible old policeman. I'll get my bonnet. Would you care to accompany me, Mr. Hale? Anywhere, Mrs. Hale? Good. We'll get some things Florinda will need. I've known a lot of women like you, Florinda. I'm sure you have, Mr. Hale. 
But this time it isn't going to cost you anything. Oh, I'll stake you to what you need. Here, take it. I always pay my own way. The boat you're taking goes up the Mississippi as far as St. Louis. Of course, there's several stops between here and there. Now, your person... Your person's gloves. Here they are. Oh, I don't know how to say thanks. Please don't bother. You helped me last night. I'm glad to be able to help you now. Perhaps we'll meet in St. Louis. Oh, I hope so. And Garnet, that note I left for you. Yes. Open it after I'm gone. All right. May I come in? Well, yes, Oliver. Doesn't she look wonderful? Yes, yeah, she looks the point. My men are ready to take you on your sad journey. Everything's been arranged. You'll be on board five minutes before sailing time. Goodbye, Garnet. I'll never forget you. Goodbye, Florinda, and good luck. Here. Perfect. Goodbye. Bye. Weren't you in Natchez? No, never been there, friend. Uh, see this watch? Uh, didn't once belong to a friend of yours. The initial back there. Never heard of him. Well, good day, sir. Dear Garnet, these are for you from me, and they're real. Thank you for everything, including the elegant name of Florinda I got out of your menu and the Grove Place your husband mentioned. I hope you have a safe trip to Santa Fe in California and a wonderful married life. Your true friend, Florinda Grove. Strange girl. I like her. I wonder what really happened to her in New York. One thing I'm sure of, she didn't murder anybody. Well, you've done all you can for her. New Orleans is a place to be gay in. You have a long, hard journey ahead to California. California. I wonder what your brother will say when you arrive with a wife. He isn't expecting me, is he? Well, it wasn't time to tell him of our marriage. Do you know that we'll be home before a letter sent by Clipper? Mm. Oh, I hope he likes me. Stop worrying about Charles. No, oh, I wasn't worrying at all. You sound as if I should be. Why? Sometimes Charles can be very difficult. Difficult? Sweetheart, Charles and California are a long way off. Time enough to worry about Charles when you begin. St. Louis. Comes this far to meet the California caravan and buy our mules. He's a hard drinker, and the harder he drinks, the more he preaches about death and damnation. <laughs>
Please, gentlemen. You may go away now. I hoped I'd see you here, Garnet. Hello, Mr. Hale. I've been looking for you. I thought of you so often, Florinda. Mrs. Rose! He hired me in St. Louis. He wanted somebody honest to keep house for him and not to steal his money. Are you all right? Are you safe? Safe enough, thanks to you. It seems as though you've jumped from the frying pan into the brimstone. I guess he and I are the two biggest hypocrites that ever rode the trail together. <laughs> he sounds frightful. He keeps telling me I'm a sinner, and I keep telling him he's a saint. We go on just fine. Up to now. I will smite all sinners and slay the devil that plagues me. Do you want Oliver to go in with you? No, no, no. Nothing quiets him like a woman's gentle Coming, Mr. Bartlett. Todos estamos muy mortificados. La caravana de California se ha dilatado mucho y tengo miedo que algo les haya pasado a mi esposo e hijo. No tenga cuidado. No tienen peligro. Her husband and son work with the California caravan. It's late arriving, she's worried, but with John Ives in charge, they're all right. Gracias, señor. Ruego que así sea. Pasen. It's bellissimo, signora. Gracias. De nada. Are you not proud of your Spanish pupil, signor? <laughs> muy, muy orgulloso, signora. Are you worried about the caravan being late? No. I am a little proud about it, though. I had depended on John Ives to take two wagon loads of trade goods up to Taos. Now it looks like I'll have to go myself tonight. But that means I'll be away from you for three or four days. Do you think you can stand being separated that long? I won't like it. Miranda! The Bull of Doom went to the saloon to meditate, so I thought I'd slip over here and get my trousseau finished. Trousseau? Oh, I always call it that. It needs to be refitted. You're not going to marry that. No, dear, I'm not going to marry him or anyone else. All I have in mind is a little change. Come in. I told Bartlett a very sad story. To match the way I was dressed. Respectable and innocent. <laughs> I played it to perfection. Oh, I'm sure you did. Todos estamos afligidos con lo que dice señor Bartlett. Que la caravana de California está perdida. I didn't get it all, but Bartlett's prophecy that the caravan is lost has everybody in Santa Fe worried to death. Every time he drinks, he yells that crossing the desert is like crawling along the floor of hell. Los borrachos siempre dicen la verdad. She says, the ones who are drunk often say what is true. The pack train from California. What is it? California. Thank <laughs> you.
Ora, signorita. Donde sta Don Olivero? Le traigo un carta de mucha importancia para él. ¿Por qué no estás en la playa? ¿Acaso ninguno de los visitantes te trae un beso de California? Siento mucho. Yo... Uh, no te apenas. Yo te, uh, yo te daré uno. Let me go. Well, you speak English. Well, I certainly do, and I don't like to... Are you one of Jose Silva's daughters? Well, no, I'm not. I'm sorry, I thought... I'm looking for Oliver Hale. My name is John Ives. Oliver's partner? Yes. Well, Mr. Hale is in Taos. He'll be back tomorrow. You can leave the letter with me. I'm Mrs. Hale. Mrs. Oliver Hale? Yes. Well, now I, I do feel foolish. I hope you'll accept my apology, Mrs. Hale. Yes, I do. My Spanish comes so slowly, I, I couldn't tell you sooner. And I didn't think you understood English. You're very gracious, Mrs. Hale. I'll see Oliver when he gets back. You're, uh, you're planning on going on to California with us? Yes, I am. Oh. You don't seem to approve of that. No. It's just that it's a, it's a long, hard trip. Well, good night, Mrs. Hale. Oh, uh, and the letter? Letter? You said you had a letter for my husband. I said I had a message for your husband. Uh, just about business, nothing important. Good night, Mr. Ives. Good night. Dear Oliver, many things have happened since I last communicated with you, therefore, I thought it best to let you know everything that has happened to this time. I've been in touch with that person we spoke of, and so I have made arrangements for your marriage to Carmelita on your return. Thereby turning this misadventure into a triumph instead of a tragedy. There's a huge land grant in her dowry. John Ives will give you the details, your devoted brother Charles. When Carmelita's baby was born, they gave out the story that you'd been secretly married. Your brother's promised to Valesco family that you will marry her and make that story good. I'm already married. Why didn't Charles get word to me in New York? It would have taken a year to get word to you. Besides, how could he know you were going to bring back a wife? Well, what can I do? I can't leave her here. I can't tell her about this and send her back. Got to tell her sometime. Granite? No. Can't. Why didn't Charles come here? I guess he figured it would work out. He seemed rather pleased with the way he'd managed your affairs. Charles always wanted that Velasco land. I'll tell him his clever planning is no good. Taking my wife with me, back to California. your friends, Oliver. Oh, except John Ives. You don't like him. Why is Texas sitting alone? Uh, he likes to drink by himself. Texas thinks that talking is a waste of time when there's drinking to be done. He'll be like that till we start back. He won't touch a drop till we get to California. Nobody drinks on the train. Absolutely, Enrico. The drink should be on the deacon, Texas. He's such a bad prophet, he should be made to pay. He said we were all dead. Dry bones on the desert. This will bring you back to life, Texas. Yes. Unfortunately. Senores, look. Look at your nightshade brunette. You know her, Mrs. Hale? Florinda. Hello, Garnet. How are you, Mr. Hale? Is it Florinda Grove? I don't seem to recognize the name, but I'm sure I've seen you someplace before. Mrs. Grove. Hello. This gentleman was just saying he thought he'd seen me someplace. What? 
are you doing here, madam? And why are you dressed in this wanton fashion? Don't interrupt me when I'm talking to a gentleman. Ever been in New York, sir? Not for the past five years, ma'am. I am not very flattered that the gentleman doesn't remember where he met me. Want to bet that I can think of the name of the place we met inside of five minutes? Mrs. Grove, if you do not mind, you cannot possibly relish the company of this cheap gambler. Maybe I can help him to remember. Pardon me. Little music, boys. Si, senorita. A man is a man wherever he be. All over the land or sailing the sea. The man of my heart, really a man who is willing and smart. He was so thrilling to me from the start. Oh, what a sailor is he. My sailor man is sailing across in the briny foam. He's bringing lots of loving along to be used at home. The finest and the latest creations of everything. And something grand for my hand, a wedding ring. True, but I know that in every part A sailor has somebody to love But he's not that sort A regular guy in a navy suit Handsome brute, very cute Happy am I Doing all I can For that wonderful sailor man I've wandered around I've traveled and hiked Still I never found somebody I liked but lately I met the kind of a man I'd been trying to get. Lucky to capture him into my net. Oh, what a sailor is he. My sailor man is sailing across in the briny foam. He's bringing lots of love and along to be used at home. The finest and the latest creations of everything. And something grand for a hand a wedding ring. He promised he'd be through, but I know that in every port A sailor has somebody to love, but he's not that sort A regular guy in a navy suit Handsome, brute, very cute Happy am I doing all I can For that wonderful sailor man Violet, you're a fool and you're a beautiful and deceitful woman. Mrs. Grove, way to grow. <laughs> Jill Box Music Hall, New York City. Why, you mule trading yokel, you didn't know? <laughs> what a sell, Barlett. What a sell. <laughs> you are laughing at me. <laughs> My dear girl, why do you tag along with this sucker to win a bet? <laughs> He's called you a woman of deceit. Are you making a gull of me? Are you trying to make me play the fool? Tell him he lies, Mrs. Grove. I'm no more a missus than you are a deacon. <laughs> you Jezebel! Miss Miranda. 
I don't like partners to be holding hands, Silky. It looks like they're afraid one will dip into the till. We're business partners. Mm-hmm, 50-50. All right, then. You ride yours and I'll ride mine. by those trees. Have to keep a sharp lookout. A lot of birds around this lake. Maybe. What do you mean? Could be Indians. Standing watch. You, uh, you really shouldn't be this far from the middle of the camp. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go back. If you're uneasy, I'll send him to you. No, don't do that. Well, you might feel safer. I don't want to see him right now. Mrs. Hale, Oliver didn't even know that you existed when he got mixed up in that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Anything? Nada, todo silencio. One big yell. <laughs> All right, move out. home tomorrow. Wonder how Charles will be feeling. About Garnet, you mean? Doesn't make any difference how he feels. Mira, allá viene la cabalgata. Vamos a avisarle al rancho. ¡Vamos! Buenos días, señor Hale. Good morning, señor Hale. You are a parley, ¿no? Morning, doña Manuela. Have our guests everything they need? Trae mi fruta y pan dulce para el señor Velasco y para la señorita Camarita. Are you still worried about your brother, señor Hale? Worried? No. Just anxious. When I am anxious, I pray to God to take care of it, and then I go to sleep. A big caravan, senor. Bueno, now you must get ready. You must prepare for them. Please, senor, as your housekeeper, this is my job. Mucho agua caliente, mucho vino fresco. Prepara las camas. Cocina la carne y frijoles, pan y pasteles. Vayan, pronto. Comiencen el fuego. Vístanse. Todos. De prisa. It appears your brother and your goods are safe, Senor Hale. Goods? I have an empire riding with that caravan. Go quickly and fetch Don Rafael and Senorita Carmelita. Tell him his son-in-law will be here any minute. Oh, amigos. This is good news. 
Everything is arranged. The padre is waiting at my rancho. The wedding can take place quietly, privately. No one will suspect. Good. Tonight we celebrate the forging of a new empire. When he arrives, you all stay out of sight. It'll be a surprise when he comes in. So, brother, you are home. We have a lot to talk about. Garnet, I want you to meet my brother. Charles, this is my wife. How do you do, Charles? Charles. The Velasco's have gone, senor. He heard about Mrs. Hale. He was very angry. Excuse me, Garnet. I'll have a talk to Charles. Don't worry, Garnet. I am Doña Manuela. I'm Mrs. Hale. This is Oliver Hale. Yes, and this is Florinda. Hello. Come, children, I will show you to your room. What's done is done, I suppose. I'm sorry, Charles. It... Sorry? Your repentance comes as easy as your follies. And who's this other woman you've brought with you? An entertainer we met in New Orleans. Garnet took a fancy to her. Entertainer. I suppose you know that we would have controlled more land than any Americans out here if you had married Carmelita. Perhaps my wife and I had better go back to the United States. You will not. You'll stay here with me where you belong. But this has spoiled all your plans. Well, then we'll make new plans. Does your wife know about this mess? No, I, I tried to tell her, but I couldn't. Well, don't tell her. I'll handle this myself. That's nice music, Doña Manuela. Music we always have, senora. When we are happy, we have it. When we are sad, we have it. To be without music is to be without brass. There. You'd never know you were a mule skinner now. When Oliver sees you, he'll start calling you all over again. Anything bothering you, honey? Florinda, suppose something terrible happened involving you. Would you rather know about it or not know about it? Something to do with John Ives? John? Why do you say that? I see him looking at you and I've seen you looking at him. No, no, it's not John. It's something I found out. Something I can't talk about. Bad? Oh, it's better to know about it, honey. That way you can fight it. And when you think you can't fight, just feel that wound. And remember, if you live through that, you can live through anything. Now, come on, let's make our grand entrance. certainly look refreshed. We are. <laughs> Doña Manuela will refresh you or kill you trying. She's better than a doctor. <laughs> no, thank you. I just have some water. Oh, I'm afraid of the fiesta. You will not find water. Some fruit juice, no? Yes. Trame hoga di fruta. Yes. My friends, my friends! Nicolai! <laughs> Nicolai! John, as you're back. You look good. I'm happy. <laughs> Who is that handsome man? That's John's pet barbarian. Barbarian? He's a Siberian. He used to trap furs in the north. I've never seen a Siberian before, have you? I've never seen anything like him before. What's his name? Nikolai. Nikolai Grigorievich Karakazo. That's a big name. That's a big man. Uh -huh. Glad to see you, Nikolai. 
Dara Manuela, I hope you meet the welcome. The house is yours. We expected you, Nikolai. We have plenty of food. Uh, Dara, you understand what comes first with the man. <laughs> <laughs> Nikolai, may I present to you the other ladies? Well, this makes me uh, enchantment. This is Hale and Florinda. Hello. This is Nikolai Grigorievich Kerikazov. You are married to Oliver. Yes. Oliver's a very lucky fellow. And you, you are an unfertilized dig like me, no? Well, that's a slap in a snoot if I ever heard one. What's she say? She doesn't understand your language. Uh, Unwero. That's unfertilized egg. Californians call anybody with black hair and blue eyes. Nikolai is very happy that you're an oddity like himself. Oh, oh, I understand, mister. Nikolai Grigorovich Karakozov. That's too many foreign words for me. You know what I'm going to call you? Something nice. Handsome brute. Handsome I like, brute. All right, handsome brute I am. El señor Hale desea que la señora Hale lo acompañe enseguida en el apartamento de su hermano. Muy bien. Your husband asks that you come to the living room immediately. Excuse me. I think everyone expects you to join the fiesta. Fiestas are for fools, madam, when there's work to be done. Is this your ranch too, Oliver? My dear madam, there is no distinction of ownership. What is my brother's is mine, and what is mine is my brother's. I want you to understand that. That is why I sent for you. I hope there will be no meddling in these matters by you. Your marriage was disturbing enough without that. Are you referring, sir, to your disappointment over the marriage you planned between Oliver and the girl who bore him his son? You told me she knew nothing about this. I know all about it. Do you love this girl, Oliver? No, Garnet. I never thought of her again. Till John Ives gave me that letter in Santa Fe. I tried to tell you a dozen times, but I didn't. I wish I had. I know you must hate me, but... No. I feel sorry for you, Oliver. I'm sorry for the girl. And the child. about Garnet? Yes, it's lonesome without her. Well, I miss her too. How much further to Los Angeles? We'll get there late tomorrow afternoon. We'll be on our way as soon as we get some water for the horses here at the Velasco Ranch. Water horses is all right. Me, I know water. Me, I wine me. <laughs> you sound like a chorus girl. <laughs> That's all you think about, eating food and drinking wine. Oh, no, me, I think about all nice things to do. <laughs> Nuevas. Muy malas nuevas, señor. Hace momento que con mis ojos vi la hija de Velasco con su niñita en los brazos echarse a pique a caballo por un voladero. Los dos están muertos, señor. Velasco girl just killed herself by riding a horse off a cliff with her baby in her arms. How terrible. There'll be trouble about this. We'd better return to the Hale Ranch. I'll ride ahead and warn them. Bringing back a wife drove her to this madness. Velasco will be riding here tonight. I think you're wrong. The Velascos and I talked over the misfortune of the marriage like reasonable men. And we came to a satisfactory understanding. That was before this happened, Charles. I think that Oliver and his wife had better leave with us tonight. I can't run away from whatever's ahead, John. No. Both stay here. You see... 
The Hale brothers are not lacking in courage. I don't know about the female acquisition to our family. If she would prefer to run rather than stand her ground, that's up to her to say. I'll do whatever Oliver says to do. Vienen unos hombres atropellando a todos. Vete. John. I'll make this play alone, Charles. Get off this place. Put the dust in your face. Connor a foul. John! They've killed Oliver! Get him! Kill the murderer! His wife, what is she? I'm standing here for her. But I want to see this woman. My child is dead. I want to tell her that. I've told her. I want to see her face when she knows what she has done. I'll kill you and your sons if you take one more step. Mrs. Hale has wept for your child, and now she must weep for her husband. There's been enough sorrow made by this. There's no need for more. God, have this chocolate white salt. Linda, I told you, didn't I? I have to leave California. I have to go back. I have to... I'll go by ship. That's what I'll do. I have to... Charles mustn't... mustn't know about the, him. I want to go back home. I've got to. I'm going to go back. Just try and be quiet. I'll get you some water. Come on. Where is Texas? He's outside someplace. Somebody better go and get him. That bad? I need somebody that understands these things better than I do. She keeps saying she can't stay out here. She wants to go back home before the baby is born. Where are those two men going? To get Texas to look after Garnet. She's very sick. She brought this all down upon us. All of it. I hope she dies. Don't you dare say that. You copper penny doxy. Get out. It's a sacrilege to have a woman like you in this house where my brother lies dead. Get out. We will. Just as soon as Garnet's able to leave with us. Look after him. All you're going to get to drink, Texas, until it's all over. I'm warning you, madam. Right after the baby is born, I'm going to have to make up for this stuff you're pouring into me. Yeah, you get drunk at christening, I help you. <laughs> What'll it be, stranger? Wine, whiskey, or aguardiente? No, oh, excuse me, ma'am. I thought people were exaggerating when they said Silky's new bartender was worth a day's ride to see. Were they? No, oh, ma'am. I'm looking for John Ives. Seen him around? You find him at Abbott's store. Much obliged. Be sure something to come to town for. I'll be back real soon. I'll be waiting for you. Texas. 
Ever see that one before? Can't say I have. He has important business with John. How do you know it's important? He don't drink after a long ride. Otherwise, he stay here all day just to look at you. <laughs> Customers can look, but mustn't touch. Rule of the house. I'll take the lap, Isabel. Try to make her eat. Her time is not far away, senorita. I don't know who'll be happier when it's over. Gardner, Texas, or me. I bet you Texas has never been so sober since he was weaned. <laughs> Things were slow, so I brought you some soup. Uh, that means I have to eat it, I suppose. Texas says the more you eat and the more you sleep, the better you'll be. He's so professional when he comes up here. He must have been a wonderful doctor once. I wonder what happened to him. All these men have stories, I guess. Silky said something today from the Bible. Something about somebody called Genesis, whoever he is. Oh, Genesis isn't a person. It's a book. The first book of the Old Testament, see? I'll take your word for it. But the way he said it, you could tell he studied it. Imagine Silky knowing the Bible. I wonder what John's story is. You mean you don't know after all these months? John doesn't say much about himself. Like me, I guess. You don't even know my story. All of it. I guess it's because I can't talk about it. Florinda, you don't have to, ever. I know. I don't ever want to think about some of the things that have happened to me. And yet, once in a while I do. And I remember that, that awful night and... You know, that brood is a great tease in his own clumsy way. There is something fine in him. There is in all of you here. <laughs> don't go saying things like that about me. It might get around, it's for my trade. <laughs> Men don't come in to drink and be merry with me because they think there is something fine in me, dear. They think just the opposite. That's why they gather around. May I come in? Yes, come in, John. That stranger find you? Yes, he's waiting for you now, downstairs. <laughs> Duty calls. Uh, don't pour too much drink into him. We're riding out at sundown. <laughs> Would you be gone a long time, John? Well, I can't say, Garnet. This is a message from Captain Fremont. I know that you've been worried about your baby being born out here in a foreign country. Well, don't be, Garnet. California's now part of the United States. What? Troops have taken Monterey and all this country down to San Diego is now part of the Republic. Oh, John, that's wonderful news. My riding out act as a guide for the soldiers coming in here. We're gonna break new trails. Come in quietly and try to avoid trouble. Good luck, John. Nobody here must know about this. I only told you so you wouldn't worry. You see, now if the baby's a boy, when he grows up, he can be president someday. <laughs> that does make me feel better. Take care of yourself, John. I will. And don't you worry about a thing. My friend would like to know why you always wear your hands covered with gloves. Because I promised my mother I'd never touch liquor. 
Dice que le prometió a su mamá que nunca tocaría licor. <risa> Brandy. Where do I find Mrs. Hale? I'll find her. Keep check on what he's doing. Darn it. You have a caller outside. A caller? Old Pison face, your brother-in-law. Charles. Shall I send him in or have the brute throw him out? You needn't bother answering that, Garnet. Snakes usually sound their rattle before they move up on you. I have something I want to discuss with you. And I'd like to do it in private. It's all right, Florinda. If you need anything, just yell. Hágame el favor de retirarse, señora. I have come to ask you to return to my ranch so that your baby may be born there. I'm going to stay here. It's for the sake of the child? No. I'll have women skilled in that sort of thing to attend you. You'll be well cared for. I'll be well cared for right here with Texas and Florinda. A drunkard and a harlot. That's enough, Mr. Hale. Please go. I will not have my brother's child born in a place like this. A child is born where its mother lives, and I live here. You're coming back with me for the sake of Oliver. No, I'm not. Child. You're not going to have anything to do with this baby. You're not going to have a chance to ruin its life like you did your brother's. I did everything in the world for my brother. You were the cause of his death. If it hadn't been for oh, you, no. he hadn't taken up with oh, you. No. Stop, Charles. Stop. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Please. Go, please go. I can't stand any more of it. Please make him go away. Please don't let them hear me in there. Don't worry, nobody's going to hear anything. I'll take care of that. Get her upstairs, quickly. to be good, just good and loud. What's going on here? A party. What kind of a party? Birthday party. Whose birthday party? Morning, boys. <laughs> Come on and join the party. Clap your hands and keep it hell and hearty. Clap your hands. Let's play that I'm the leader, so raise your hands. When I say go, you got to go and clap your hands. So clap, 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 clap your hands. Let's be gay. Let us sing. So clap, 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 clap your hands. Happy times, hip hooray, laugh and sing. It's fun to be with the crowd. Having drinks. Sing a When someone sings kind of loud. Join right in with a laugh and a smile. Come on and join the party. Clap your hands. And keep it hale and hearty. Clap your hands. Let's play that I'm the leader, so raise your hands. When I say go, you've got to go. Clap your hands. So clap, 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 clap your hands. Let's be gay. Let us sing. So clap, 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 clap your hands. Hooray, laugh and sing. A tennis celebration. Clap your hands. To show appreciation. Clap your hands. Let's try it all together and I'll command. Get ready now and show me how you clap your hands. So clap, 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 clap your hands. Let's be gay. Let us sing. So clap, 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 clap your hands. Happy times, people, rain, laugh and sing. Come on, everybody. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Let's be gay, gotta sing. So clap, 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 clap your hands. Happy times, people, rain, laugh and sing. 
Jubilee Trail. Oh, you Jubilee Trail. Let the crimson skies above you never fail. When the sun comes to rest at your door, then you feel heaven blessed evermore. Oh, the Jubilee Trail, oh, the Jubilee Trail, let the crimson skies above you What is his name? I told Carl that I was going to name him for the finest and bravest man I ever knew. Stephen Austin, the man who founded Texas. And so the boy will be called Stephen. Stephen? That's nice. For St. Stephen, good name. It's a name of honor and courage. And now, Florinda, seeing as I am a godfather, I think I'll have a pot of chocolate. It's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. Mickey, bottle of chocolate. God bless you, dear Florinda. I have to have a kiss from a beautiful girl or I'm not going to leave here tonight. I'm the proprietor. We men are new here. Just transferred from San Francisco. Hmm. The officers who come here for curfew inspection usually have some hot chocolate. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the place is empty as a drum. Fine. There's one you overlooked, proprietor. He's not a patron, he's a friend. He hasn't had anything stronger to drink than that for over a year. But since the army arrived, he's been celebrating. Celebrating? It's more like torture the way he's been. I'll see if I can get him started home. May I serve you some more, gentlemen? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. This is very nice chocolate, miss. Right, Captain Brown? I'm all right, Sucky. I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm, I'm all right. That can't be. I'm fine. Yes, it is. Ernest Conway. So that's what's happened to him. I'd have thought he'd be dead by now. It might be better if he were. I want to make sure that's him. Captain. Yes? May I say something? Of course. I couldn't help overhearing. You know that man, don't you? Yes, I'm sorry to say I do, miss. His name is Conway. We just know him as Texas. He's helped a lot of us. You know, people out here have a sort of code. They never ask questions about one's past. 
Whatever Texas left behind, can you let it stay back there, not talk about it to anybody in town? I won't, Pam. And I'll speak to the Major. Thank you, Captain. And if he should recognize either of you... We wouldn't acknowledge the recognition, ma'am. No soldier who knew him would. I'm sorry. Good night, miss. Salute her barmaid. A rather choice, dearie. What sort of a proposal did he make you? None. He just promised to do me a favor. behave if they come in here. I wouldn't try that. They're really bad. Here you are, senores. And uh, un poquito de vino, por favor. Vino? Sí.
He's all right. Isabel is with him. How can I ever thank you, John? I'd rather you didn't. What did they want with Stephen? Charles. Well, we can't prove anything. He's, he's sly and tricky. Are you all right? I've got to get away from this country, John. Some way I've got to get Stephen to New York. You'll be safe there. But he's too young to take over land. Oh, yes. I'll see if there are any clipper ships in when I get up to San Francisco. That's what they call the old port of Yerba Buena now. Are you... Are you going away again? Tonight. John, don't you ever get tired of the trail? I guess I was meant to keep moving. It's all right for some folks to stay in one place, I guess, but... What about your land grant? Won't you someday want to settle down and have a ranch? Well, being a rancher or a farmer seems kind of quiet to me. Well, someday, I suppose, maybe. Someday, maybe. Darn it. Before I came out here, I lived on a plantation in Virginia. I didn't own it. I was an orphan living with rich kinfolks. Living in that same house with just those same people. People I had to be grateful to, to say thanks for everything I had, for what I ate, and my room, my clothes. I guess that filled me up with living in one place with the same people. Is that why you... You never want anybody to mean anything to you. Oh, but... It... Yeah, I guess so. I'm not one that uh, anybody should figure on settling down. I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry too, John. instead of saying thank you for all you've done for me. The sergeant, he said it. When do you leave? Time for one more drink or one more bottle? We're going right now. Goodbye, Garnet. Goodbye, John. Come, we see John leave. Please, make a man feel good to have a woman watch him as he rides off. Sorry I wasn't here, John. But I'm never there when I'm needed. That's what always happens. Bye, John.
not bother you at all? Only you bother me, is enough. Do I bother you? Why? I like you. <laughs> you like 200 girls between here and San Diego. But not the way I like you. Want me to prove it? Oh, it's late and I'm tired. Are those real pearls? Yes. They're my mother's icon. The only thing I have to remember her by. I'm just a little fellow when she and my father died. Where did you live then? Camp Sutter. Then with trappers, Indian fellows. Then with Spanish soldiers. But I always carry this. Only John Ives and you I ever show it to. So proves I like you. No question, eh? Ah, the way you think. He must be a lunatic. Yeah, good. You're a very cheerful person, too. <laughs> You silly boys just get here? Landed at San Pedro last week. Welcome to the City of Angels. What will it be? Mm, run for me, please. It's Texas. He's real bad off. He fell down the stairs at my place last night. He's dying, Silky, and he knows it. Hey! Darn it, I'm not so sure. You should go over there alone. I'm not afraid. But it's a rough street with a lot of rough people. He almost helped me be a real man again. When the army came, I let go. It brought back too much. I used to be in the army, you know. The regular army. Don't talk now, Texas. Medical officer. Fort Leavenworth. I had a lot of friends there. A lot of friends. Don't think about it now, please. I can't think of anything else. One night, my company had caught in an Indian trap. Ambushed. Some of my men were wounded. They were brought into me. I was so drunk I couldn't stand up. I tried to take care of one or two of them. I couldn't make it. I just couldn't make it. I can't forget that. Some of those soldiers. I could have saved. I know that. Some of them were just kids. I want a drink, Garnet. Did you read that part again? The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So, you are here. My nephew with you. Well, he won't be with you any longer. Have you lost your senses? No. You've lost yours. I can't prevail upon you to change your way of living. And now I find you frequenting a place like this. You're not fit to be a mother. You're not going to get him. I already have him. This is an order signed by the military governor turning the child over to me. He's 
said he had an order from the governor to take my son away from me. This is no military order. It's a receipt for cattle. I shot him, Captain. You prepared to sign a statement to that effect, Conway? Sure. But if you're gonna hang me for it, I'm afraid you'll have to hurry. Still awake? I was waiting for you to come up. Scared? You'll feel different than when John Ives gets back. I don't mean anything to John. No, not a thing. He has his own life. He likes it the way it is. He told me so. I'm in love with a man. And he's not in love with me. Love? You've got it to bed, honey, haven't you? I had it that way once. Maybe you better go back. Marry somebody back there, somebody rich, who can take care of you and Stephen. Oh, don't bother about love. Marry somebody safe. I'd have to love a man to marry him. I love the man I married. No matter what he did, I forgave him. Until he did something that nobody could forgive. I, I had a baby girl. I came in one night after the show. My husband was drunk. He beat me. Then he threw a lamp at me. The curtains caught fire. The whole place was burned. Oh, I fought the flames to save my baby. He tried to stop me. As we fought, he fell into the fire. They said I killed him. He died in the fire. He started himself. John Ives with dispatches from Major London. Fast, Mr. Ives. The Major's waiting up for you. John, how is San Francisco? Oh, rather exciting. Did you hear about Charles Hale? Yeah, your courier told me that Texas had shot him. From what I understand, he had it coming. He must have if Texas killed him. I'm mighty sorry to hear that Texas is dead. Captain Brown investigated the case. Questioned a girl by the name of Garnet. The courier told me that. Did the courier tell you how much the captain enjoyed that part of the detail? Seems like Brown's quite taken with the girl. Unusual type to find working in a saloon. Although I admit she always conducts herself like a lady. Yes, sir. She is. Well, that's all the local gossip. Thanks for your services, John. Glad to be of help, Major. Good night. Good night. Always I dreamed that one day I would go back to see the old country. Did you leave something there? Some memories. Florinda, when the boat sails from San Diego, I'm going to be on it. It's a long trip. I hope you enjoy it. Many thousand miles. When you get there, you'd better stay. I think you want me to come back sometime. Me? <laughs> Why would I want you to come back? <laughs> Always you talk so nobody know what you feel. Unless ship gets drowned, I come back. You keep this. Well, 
Well, Nikolai, this will start the celebration. For you. For me. Garnet, come out here and bring some more wine, will you? Garnet, won't you give me your answer? I'm still not sure. Garnet, I love you very much. And Stephen will have a better life than he has here. Please, give me your answer tonight. I will. I promise I will. Come on, come on. Let's get Nikolai off to a good start. Where's Florinda? Upstairs. I'll go get her. Good. We make fiesta. No use to be sad because someone goes away. Florinda, what are you sitting there for? That stupid booby, that big lumbering ox. He gave me this. What is it? An icon, he calls it. He gave it to me so I feel like a fool and act like one. I hope his ship sinks and the whales eat him. Florinda, I've never seen you like this before. You'll never see me like this again either. Oh, leave me alone. Dear God, this is my first prayer, so don't expect too much. I'll just say what's on my mind. First, I didn't mean it about the ship sinking or what I said about the whales. I don't know whether I want the handsome brute to come back here or not. So I guess I'll, I'll leave it up. But let him be happy the way he is now, as long as he lives. Florinda. Gold. That's what it is, gentlemen, gold. They found it up at Sutter's Mill. Why, there's tons of it up there. They find it in the streams, they dig it out of the hills, out of the flatlands, it's all over. You mean you just go out and dig it up? That's right. <laughs> You could dig a ton of that in no time, Nikolai. What would I do with gold? I don't need it. Well, I need it, and I'll know what to do with it. Florinda, they discovered gold up near San Francisco. Gold hunters are beginning to pour in from the towns and the farms. Why, well, I saw 50 people walking along a stream finding pieces as big as fried eggs. Others on the banks digging, breaking up rocks. Garnet, it is gold. Let them slush around in streams and break up rocks. When they're cold and hungry and tired, they can bring their gold into a little place I'll have up there. I'll carry the best food in town. There'll be music and fun. And I'll get gold without digging for it. John. I missed you this time, Garnet. I don't want to travel alone anymore. <sighs> Every turn of the trail I came to, I, I hoped you'd be around the next bend. In San Francisco, up in the room, I used to think you were in the next room, even though I knew you couldn't be. I love you, Garnet. Oh, John. Day after tomorrow, we'll be on our way. You and Stephen and I. The rough trails, new trails. I'm glad. I don't want to settle down and be safe any more than you do. We'll go right to the gold fields. It'll be hard living for a while. I don't care, dear. I don't care what it's like. Florinda's place, that's what I want to call it. I have a big sign in front. Oh, they'll be digging gold out of their pockets when they come to see Florinda. <laughs> I told her. I knew it all the time.
Frau Sacker.